Greetings, Warlord. Greetings. This is Warlords 2. And thank you so much, Chex, for the $50. She called me Harbor Master. Do you know what that is? $50 I get to buy avocados with. I will spend all your money on avocados, by the way. <clears throat> This is an underappreciated DOS game, I feel. But really, this is like... This is like, uh, Civilization with only the combat. Basically, that's, that's, it's, it's pretty simplified. It's, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But we got, there's no regular campaign. There's just scenarios, which basically just means maps. The only thing different from this being civilization without anything besides the combat is that you have heroes <clears throat> and heroes can search ruins, get quests, level up, uh, and all that sort of thing. BPM? Yeah. That game looks super fucking cool. I'm just so out of FPS mode that I don't care. Send this real quick. Sent. All right. What's up, Brit Sujin? Man, not enough people know about this game, right? I played this as a kid, I loved it. Um, and when I was a kid, I was like, I wanna beat all of these campaigns or all these scenarios. I wish there was like a regular campaign, but there's not, it's just single maps. When I was a kid, I was like, I'm gonna beat all these. I did like three because this game is slow and it takes forever and it's repetitive, I guess you could say as well. But uh, I don't know, what do we want here? A strange wheel shaped island. 21 cities, 5 players, 26 ruins? That's a lot of ruins. The four colleges of magic with four players. How about we do like an eight player one? Lots of players. Mayan Aztec fantasy world. Nippon Babylon. Japanese pop culture gone mad. No. Pirates. Ninjas are cooler than pirates, though. I don't see any ninja ones. Spider Queen. Assault on the Spider Queen. Transylvania. Warfare in Vlad's realm. A hundred cities? We're gonna be here for fucking ever. Thanks for getting out of bed for this. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mac Mac Mag has been playing this. I don't know him. Thank you of demolition. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dark Zoma. What's up? Definitely not Pokemon. Hi, Popo. Thank you. Hello, Steven. Happy birthday, you fucking Harbor Master. Harbor Master is so there's uh, in Settlers of Catan, you know, the board game. There's expansions. I have a couple expansions for it. It's the Knights and Cities, I think, is one, and the other one is like fishing. And there's like an extra harbor master thing, and my friend Jack Selly thinks I cheat. <laughs> I think it was a mechanic she didn't know about, but I didn't know she didn't know about it, so she thought I was she thought I was <laughs> she thought I was cheating in the board game because I got the harbor master. If you own like, or if you have a city next to the most harbors, you get the harbor master thing. All right, real quick, uh, game giveaway. You can still type 40 if you want to enter. Otherwise, we're gonna roll it right now. <laughs> he cheats at every board game. I The other day I taught her how to play Wingspan. <clears throat> at her house. Winner is Foxy. 
All right, I think we're gonna go to Transylvania. That's a lot of cities. It's a lot of room on the map as well. All right, we're doing trucks. It's just called trucks. There's a tutorial. I never knew that there was a tutorial in this game. Twin towers, mages do battle. War of powers, warthogs too. Battle for the sty. Waterloo. Zulu. I, let's keep looking a little bit. All roads lead to the well. Become the ruler of the Vale. The Star of Night. Spectremia, a land to die for. Severus. Silentia. The Salentine Civil War. Russia. Rule Britannia. Roman Empire. Raven Castle. Rain War. Alright, it's either Pirates or Transylvania. Jungle Valley. Holy. Hand of Fate. A strange Hand Shaped Island. Glacial Islands. Frozen Lake. Flooded Halls. Elkhorst Tomb. Anyway, Transylvania it is. Let's go. <clears throat> Finally not rigged. Finally, right? Worms, Rumble, and DLC. Okay. I better do that now. I'm going to forget. All right, I gotta give you two codes, one for game, one for DLC. <coughs> There's the main, and then after that, you uh, do this one. Okay. Ready. Thank you, Yidus. What's going on? Uh, I'm going to be... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How would you know? Uh, difficulty, we're just going to play on easy. Knights are the easy. And then lords are medium. Warlords are hard. Maybe we'll turn it up to <clears throat> fight some lords if we beat this one. But this is a hundred cities. This could take forever. All right, let's see. Neutral cities, normal. Raising cities, anytime. Quests, yes. Diplomacy, no. Hidden map, maybe for the next one, I think. I don't need a military advisor. Difficulty, 28%. If I lose, I suck. Okay, my new best friend, Foxy. Thank you so much, Foxy. I hit the wrong button. <clears throat> Quests, absolutely. Thank you so much, Foxy. $100? Do you know how many avocados that's gonna buy me? <clears throat> that's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let the war. Like four? <laughs> According to most people, that they think that's how expensive they are. Whoa, all right. Well, we got a big map. We got a hero in Castle Dracula named Foxy. <clears throat> You're the hero, Foxy. Not yet, Abby. Next couple days, I will. Along with other games that people gave me. Let's see, Sierra for my birthday today gave me three games on Steam. Sierra gave me Choo Choo Charles, which is like a horror game where a train chases you. I don't know. She's been talking about it. Outward and Unpacking. 
Delicious coffee gave me loon acid. Lunacid? Loon acid? Lunacid? I don't know. But thank you for that coffee. Thank you, Dragoon. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, good reviews except it being too short. Oh, I love a good short game. Do you know how many games I need to play? In the universe? Alright, so, main thing in this game is you build troops at cities. So, scouts, time one, cost one, strength one, move 18. This is one turn. The knights take two turns, plus three strength and open. Moves faster in the hills, I think. Strength four, and war bats, four turns. Minus three enemy stack? That might mean minus three to enemy defenses when they're stacked. Or it like counts three less of the people. Anyway, we're gonna build some knights. These guys are just too fucking weak. We'd need them if we were playing with a covered up map. Which we probably will next time. Uh, here's my, we got four to five income defense to we can burn it. We can buy new types of troops. We have 165 gold. I can't see. Oh, here we go. Men and arms. Strength two. Time one. That would be better than the scouts. Do I want to. Foot soldiers. Pikemen. I want some pikemen later. I need somebody who, who can go in one. I really need this one. Wait. Harpies. But this is going to be the last slot in this city. But I really need somebody who goes in one turn so I can both take over cities and defend my cities very quickly at the, at the in the opening rush, you know? Also don't have a lot of gold, but we gotta do it. Because that's that's a one turn. That's better than the scout. Double the scout strength. So we're gonna just spam these guys. We have two dudes. We got a giant bat and our hero Foxy. We need to send him him on some quests. There's one right there. These are all like neutral towns, the gray ones on the map. I need some ruins to go to. Right there. This, I'm gonna have to get through. I need to take over these quickly. We, we got a pretty good defensive place here, being in the mountains and shit, but I assume everybody else has got some good defensive areas. We got this guy, this guy. This guy's gonna be, this guy's so happy down here all by himself. He's just gonna take over all of this shit. It's gonna be, and this guy too, he, he owns this island down here. I probably need to go this way and push this guy out. If I can take over this guy, I will have this whole entire side of the map over here. All right, the little yellow dots on the map where the quests are. I need to send him out to do quests immediately. Nobody can get to me right now, right? I'm gonna have a defender on the next turn anyway. Okay, go here. <clears throat> Taking a little while. Yep, buildable war bats. <clears throat> Definite Kingsfield vibes? Yeah, what's up, Sparrow? Thank you, dead guy. What's up? I'll be here. It'll be a long stream today. Okay, so this guy... We're gonna get the war bats. He's gonna start taking over some cities. If he dies to one of these dudes, it's gonna be so bad. He shouldn't, though. Pillage is always, uh... So if you pillage, 
It like deletes one of the units that the city can produce. I'm your number one. But it gives you money. Thank you so much for 1249. Spare. Appreciate it. What's up, Dragonator? Thank you. I keep pushing the wrong button. Don't push that button. I'm used to two PC streaming, and so I switch my keyboard and mouse to the other PC a lot. 62, 162.49. Thank you. Thank you, Sparrow. <coughs> ah, yes, Captain. I thought about that, and I I tried out the uh, the uh, you know the MIDI music for Warcraft, and then I was like, this sounds better, but I'm nostalgic for the Sound Blaster music. Like I I'd never heard that MIDI stuff when I was a kid, so. And the same with this game, like, it would sound better, but I wanted it to sound like it did when I was a kid, you know? It's very nostalgic. We're gonna pillage it. Because we get money for pillaging and it deletes one of the units that the city could produce, but we can buy another one, buy a different unit, if we want. I'm, uh, and sack means you get even more money, but you, uh, I think you lose, like, all of the units that they can produce. We're gonna pillage. And we can't build harpies. But harpies only cost 50 gold to make again somewhere else later. I need money right now. And that's what I want. We're gonna have tons of men at arms for defense. And we're gonna have that war bat go around, just decimate all the neutral cities, and have shitloads of men at arms for defense. This is starting out good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy too. War bat's kicking ass. Pillage! Ooh, we got 200 gold off of that one. We can't build light cav cavalry anymore. But we can build men at arms. <clears throat> Where's this guy gonna be going? You could go ahead and take over that town while you're here. Um, cancel movement? There. You can do it right now. <gasps> <laughs> well, Foxy's dead. Wait, what is that? That's my my artifacts on the ground right there. Alright, Bat, we're gonna need you to go over here and get some revenge. You better not die, too. Alright, anyway. <laughs> You're gonna have a pepperoni pizza, you at least want good pepperoni and cheese. Well, yeah, but what about nostalgia? Alright, this guy is going to fortify. This guy is going to fortify. This guy is going to fortify. And you go... No, no, it's not that button. Where is it? It's this one? No, that's the... Okay, legs. There we go. Don't die. Okay. Alright, pillage harpies. <coughs> Build men at arms. Now, the way the game works, if we have. If we have enough money, there's a chance that, um. That a hero will appear. But only if you have enough money. 
I have 465 gold, so there'll definitely be a hero if one... It's like a 1 in 6 chance. That a hero will appear and offer to join you. We need... <clears throat> we need a... We need a new hero. What's up, Taco? Can you build a women's prison? Oh, I don't know. This game is called Warlords, and it's only about war. There's actually no building. Except for troops. Alright, I don't think I want to hold this position and go over here and start... trying to take over this guy first, because I want this whole side of the map. So, Warbat's gonna go back over here. Okay. That's it for this turn. Okay. <clears throat> nice, Smitty. How does a shackalicious count as nostalgic? The hell is a shackalicious? <clears throat> oh, sorry. I thought we were still talking about. Uh, audio. Let's talk about audio nostalgia. This is turn based. It's civilization without anything but the combat, basically. All you build is troops. You take over cities. You get income for cities. You spend your money on uh, building new units, building u new unit types. Like we could. We could do the siege train. Early game, we want stuff that comes comes out quick. We're not spending all our money right now, though. We need heroes. Mercenaries. <clears throat> Nothing right now. Okay, so we've got... Do we have two guys? We have two guys here. So we're going to start building some knights in this, uh, in my main. Wait. Yeah, knights there in the capital. So we've got two dudes all over the place here. We're going to fortify. I don't need to fortify this one. It's in the middle. We're going to go ahead and send this guy down here then. We're going to send him over here to fight with the bats. Ain't nobody going to be coming in here to get me, dude. Especially if I take over that one. I have an extremely good defensive spot. A lot of my cities in the middle cannot be touched. Like, nobody can even come here, right? No, they could go around this castle. So we leave one here. We can also, um, yeah, let's do this. They will, whenever they produce new units, they will vector them to a different place. Perfect. You as well. Send all the troops over here. We got one guy here. We need a few here, actually, so you're going to stay there. Okay, you guys fortify, you go, you wait for this guy. I can't risk any more death. This is not going to be a uh, save scum game. If I can't beat this on, you know, easy pretty much without saving, then, you know. This is permadeath. You fortify, you fortify, you wait. Yes. All right, there we go. Okay. Camel doesn't watch Twitch? Well, 
Sometimes. Thank you, Matthias. This game is fun. If you like turn-based military strategy that's, you know, more simple than like a hex-based military kind of game. Alright, I thought I vectored from this one, right? Here. Okay. Oh, they were vectored. He just isn't there yet. Okay. Uh... You go here. And then you, with your 14 movement points, come over here. And you, over here. And then we got him as a team, and we win. And we're gonna keep pillaging. Can make pikemen? That's fine. We don't want to make pikemen. We're gonna go ahead and make foot soldiers. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. I definitely recommend this game. This is Warlords 2 Deluxe. Okay, now we'll take that guy out of the group. These guys will fortify. This guy fortify. This guy fortify. And this guy. We'll take over another city soon. We're getting real close to those guys, though, so we gotta watch it. All right. You're making that. You're vectored. We could vector him to the next one. Actually, no. We're gonna leave that one where it is. This one we're gonna vector to... This one. Get our knights going over there. This is our westmost defensive position. I think I'm gonna have three troops here. And then start moving guys to the east. Actually, we don't need three right now. Uh, we'll just get a few and then go take over maybe these other two cities. Maybe three. I don't think I want to expand west yet. He's pretty far away though. But I want all of my might going to the east right now. So we need to vector this one. I think that means they automatically move. Maybe. We got two dudes there. One dude here. Two dudes here. Uh, we got three here. Including my bat. Who is he making? Okay, he's got two turns. We're gonna get some more troops going here real soon. He's definitely gonna try to go down here. I wanna take over this one first, maybe. Contest him right here. We'll see. <clears throat> I ain't a freaking hero. How many times should I help my neighbor wash his Buick Riata before I ask if I can take it for a spin? <laughs> doing well Two times. So far. I know I'm doing well. 
All right, so did they automatically move over here? No, they're they're running over there. Where'd that guy go? Uh, where's my armies? Where's my horse? Do do do. Uh, back to red. I vectored him, now where is he? I made a knight. Maybe he's traveling. But he's like, not shown on the map while he's traveling? That could be. <clears throat> Probably is. just show up there hmm. I don't know what a Beowick Riata is oh yeah I can just right click instead of having to do that all right see we got two troops there okay You need to vector somewhere else. Here. So now everybody. Yeah, everybody's going there. Except for that guy. What is that guy doing? <clears throat> Pikeman. More strength in the open. I really want to take this city over here. Before he does. He's got one more to go before he gets to that one. They got war bats too. Uh oh. It's because we're in Transylvania. A sporty Buick. Oh, okay. Thank you, Bash. How's it going? Two-seater Roadster Buick. Actually, really fun. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Testarossa. Oh, that is either. Have you dude show up? Showed up here yet? Where's my horse dudes at? Like, I built a fucking knight and vectored, vectored him over to here. He's not here! It's very strange. I'm gonna take... Just the pike, man. So we have foot soldier, pike man, and the war bat. Maybe that'll be our army to go over there. You go over there. You three have to stay here. You stay there. I'm mad about my horsemen. I made one I'm already. I'm this monkey farm now, Frankenstein! Damn it. Oh. 
Thank you so much, Fortifier. Five gifted subs, Woxdy, Ranscott, Zokun, B, and Dragoon. Thank you so much, Fort. I got the bird. That's your birthday present. <laughs> Thanks, Fort. I was screaming at the monitor. What's up, Drake? How's it going? So loud. Yeah, but it's it's the best alert on Twitch. I'm mad about my knights not showing up. So these guys, okay, foot soldier strength four, pikemen strength four, and warbat strength six. We're gonna take over this town. You've got two, you've got one. You've got one. I need this guy to like... Why are you building pikemen? Build men-at-arms, one turn. Uh, P for production. How do I see the next one? Okay. Go. <clears throat> Man, that yellow dude has taken over a shitload of towns. But he's got a war on both sides. So I don't think he's gonna be doing so good. I don't know what that guy was gonna tell me. Yay, one of my knights arrived! Alright. We're gonna take you and you. And we're gonna... We're gonna go smash this place over here. It's gonna take a little while to get there. Oh, there's a ruin right there too. I need a hero! I think I wanna keep you with three dudes. But after that... Everybody is vectoring over to here. So this game does have a fog of war. I, I'm not sure if the fog stays gone like in the old strategy games. It probably does. <clears throat> well, it's not real time, it's turn based. So, the way I say it is this is civilization with nothing but the combat. That's pretty much what it is. Plus, there's some heroes stuff so you can, like, uh, go explore these ruins and get quests and do stuff like that. Hello, Dementia. It's the 30th. The 30th. Uh, Nate Graves' birthday is the 31st, though. Welcome back, Abby. <clears throat> 93. I'm guessing the, uh, this is the deluxe version in 93, and maybe the other, the original was older? This one, oh, the deluxe looks like 95. Maybe the original was 93 then. This is by SSG, not SSI. There's two strategy companies for DOS, and one of them's SSG and one of them's SSI. Thank you for it. Jump King is great, because there's no RNG. If you fuck up, it's your goddamn fault. Production. Okay, you got that, you got that. We got all foot soldiers except for the knights that are coming here. Okay, good. You guys need to fort, fortify this this thing here. You need to fortify this. Okay. Yellow is expanding all over the fucking place. This will either mean he's going to be very powerful or he's spreading himself thin. I don't know. A heroine! 
Zarhan. 541 gold. Yes, I will. This is gonna be... Uh... Well, it's Jack Sally, of course. <clears throat> Listen, stop cutting me off. <laughs> right? 38th is good. It's like you're obligated to celebrate, celebrate two days in a row. True. But also, like, you only get presents once a year. Because it's right there by Christmas. SSG is a unique company, Australian. And Hero brings an ally, that's good. Well, this says Australia, but this says, uh, no. SSG is Pensacola, Florida. Strategic Studies Group, PTY Limited, Australia. So they got a base in Australia, but I think they're from, they're from Florida mainly. Probably. If they put this first, probably Florida. January 2nd. Heavy on the wallet, too, right? You'd get better presents if you were born in June, you know, because your parents save up some money. Risk with extra mechanics? Risk with less mechanics, probably. Some fuckboy who hates Gex. Doesn't everyone hate Gex? I was looking through the uh, Game Boy Color library because I'm trying to figure out what all I'm going to put on my on my uh, analog pocket and uh, I saw some Gex games and I was like nope not not playing any fucking Gex there's two Gex games on the Game Boy Color apparently and I'm not playing either one of them because fuck Gex all right we got the hero Jack Sally strength six but we got this dude Nosferatu with nine strength. Holy shit. Fucking Nosferatu. Thank you, Audio Nostalgia, for 7 Eleven. Alright, I need to, like, never press that button again. Okay. Thank you so much, Audio. So we're at the uh, one. one one set one sixty nine sixty. Damn it, you were nine cents off. What a shame. <laughs> Thank you, audio or captain. <laughs> Captain failed the math. Oh no. I thought you was smart. You know, whenever whenever Sierra has a problem with a computer, she's like, I'm gonna message the smartest guy I know. Not you, Camel! Captain Peel Card. Well, I'm gonna have to tell her about this. Alright, I got a fucking hero. And the fucking Nosferatu, and we're going to this goddamn uh, ruin. Oh man, I hope they don't take this ruin. I can defend that ruin, I bet. I bet I'm gonna go defend that ruin and not let them have it. I gotta leave three behind. Alright, we're just gonna send you here first. You go. Ah, uh, get over there already. These guys are going. You're dumb for thinking I'm smart. No, Sierra thinks you're smart, not me. Hodor, what up, Hodor? Appreciate it. How's it going? How you doing? Never found a Game Boy game I cared for. I remember I liked Sokoban or whatever it's called uh, when I was a kid. A friend had a. I think we were on like a 
school trip or something. A friend had a Game Boy with that box pushing, box pushing puzzle game. I loved it. I got a recommendation on that one, Fortify. If you're talking like Super Nintendo era Romance of the Three Kingdoms, I really, really like uh, Nobunaga's Ambition, Lord of Shadows. I think it's a sequel to, well, it's the second Nobunaga's Ambition game on Super Nintendo. Came out in the US. It's the same, it's like the same exact shit as Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Nobunaga's Ambition is like the same shit. Same mechanics, same everything. Yeah. Lord, I played so much Lord of Shadows. <clears throat> Me and Rocket Boy doing great. This guy's got the same number of cities as me. But he doesn't have Nosferatu, does he? I think not. I have to make sure all my cities stay very defended. I think after this one, I'm going to start building war bats in Castle Dracula. Oh yeah, you gotta get the things! Hold on. There's stuff on the ground right there. Okay. There we go. How you doing tonight, dead guy? And, uh... Fortifier was recommending Final Fantasy... It's not... F well, the Final Fantasy Adventure? I was like, Adventures? Uh, I wanna play Mystic Quest. Fuck Secret of Mana, though. Oh, wait. Okay, Final Fantasy Adventure, I played GBA version, which was called... Legend of Mana? Which is a remake of Final Fantasy Adventure, right? It's very confusing for some reason. Bahamut Lagoon? Not yet. I know there's a fan, tra fan translation for that. Sword of Mana. Fuck Sword of Mana. I hate that game with a passion. Hello, Princess Zena. Fairy will burn out. I'm, I'll be burned out soon enough. Dude, like, I hate everything about that game. Four turns, but war bats. Do it. You get this treasure. Black standard. Get that. Command plus two. I guess that helps with uh, other troops. Better leader. All right, now you can go get your stuff. Oh man, he took this one right here. Fuck. All right. We need to defend for real. You need to go back one. You stay there with them. We got four there. Okay, I will send the knights. They're not even trying to defend to take this one. This is rough. I, I don't know why I did this. If I take over this one, there's too far. It takes like two or three turns to get from here to here. Hmm. Anyway. Let's take it. Village. Oh, we destroyed the Necromancer. 500 gold. We need the money. We can build a siege train. Oh, we need to buy something else to build.
We destroyed the special unit that we can't even buy. Yeah, we'll get it again somewhere. Plague rats. Trolls! Oh, we're getting trolls. You know it. What is this? Artillerist? Mercenaries? We gotta do trolls. 1200 to be No, never mind. Alright, we're doing monks. Strength 5 times 3. Mercenaries or monks? Cost the same. Knights. Longbowmen. Crossbowmen. You only take two turns. I can't afford trolls. We're doing monks. <laughs> high skyline, high corbs. We shall meet again, warlord. Oh, you played this one, Xena? That's awesome. This game is very Heroes of Might and Magic. Well, the overworld is, I guess. You're just mad because you suck at it. Alright, so... Oh, Final Fantasy Legend is Saga Frontier Star. It's so dumb. They just slapped Final Fantasy on everything because it'd sell better, even if it was completely unrelated. Right, so, uh, Sword of Mana. I, I played this, right? It's an action RPG, just like, Legend, you know, all the other Mana games, right? You run around and hit stuff. But the mechanic in Sword of Mana is that there's like 12 different elemental attacks, elemental type attacks, and every enemy on every screen, every little peon enemy is immune to 11 different types of attacks and can only be hurt by one, right? So you gotta enter a screen, there's like five dudes, five different enemy types on there, and you're like, okay, what can I hit this first enemy with? This attack? No. All right, this attack, try this 12 times and finally you, you figure out the one attack that hurts this enemy, all right? There's still four more enemy types on the fucking, we're talking about one screen. It was horrible, incredibly tedious. What, am I supposed to write down what every tip, what every little peon enemy is immune to or can be hurt by? The dialogue and the story was fucking awful. The characters were awful. <clears throat> the main character was a Muppet Goku surfer boy reject piece of shit. That game it was just, it was fucking horrible. Terrible experience. I think that Final Fantasy Adventure is supposed to be better, like they messed it up, but I don't know. Alright, we got a whole lot of one-turn dudes. We, we, we gotta get these guys. Do it. Alright, three turns, but okay. Now we need to vector some of these dudes to somewhere else. You're gonna vector over here, war bats. Uh, wait, why do you... Why do you have these dudes? Leave them there. You dudes are supposed to be defending this castle. All right, we got this castle already. Where do these guys need to go? Are they gonna come attack me soon? Probably. But from which way? They can get to this one quicker. We got three turns before anything else is built in this castle. We got five badasses though. And we can see their troops. 
They don't have any big stacks. They're just expanding. One more bat there. Nobody there. I think we can take down that war bat. Maybe. Let's fucking. Ah! You don't need to do that. If his warbat's there, then I want to be going over here instead. And this knight can also go over here. And we got four defenders there. Three here. Four here. Keep four there. I don't want him going into the middle of my shit. They do have Harbies here, which travel quickly. But once this knight gets over here, we might need to get to it quick. Get after it. Alright, all the vectoring. You go here. We got two going there, two going here. Happy birthday, Camel. Also, happy new year. All the best in 2023. Thank you very much. Surprise, I appreciate it. How you doing? Thank you. You don't have big stacks either? Oh no. I don't either. Um, 175, uh, 176, 26, 176, 26, thank you very much, surprise, I will buy avocados, hi Costin, how's it going? Go get these other towns over here. You need to fucking do something, hero. I'm expanding slower than everyone else right now. Did they just send a boat? Oh yeah, boats are automatic in this game. I forgot. Just like tell your units to go across the sea and they just get in the boat and go. All right, you go there. They got three defenders there. Defense of one. All right, so this guy takes two turns and they built one this turn, so I need to attack them next turn. So if I check this, alt, I can almost get to it, but not quite. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Buttons, please. Okay, you four get over there. You I think we can take out these war bats? Oh my god, I wish I knew. 
I can go there, do it. Three dudes. Strength four, strength two, strength two. Two defense on the town. Six strength war bats. Here we go. Ah! That's fine. We had to try. All right, you, can you just like go over there? All right, question mark. It's found a sage. Sage gre greets you warmly. Welcome, O oh, seeker of knowledge. I can show thee many things, items, money, or maps. What wouldst thou ask of me? It's gotta be items or money, I don't know. Items. Ring of power, allies, gold. Ring of power. There's a ring of power over there? God damn it. Alright, we're going there now. Fortify, fortify, fortify everyone. Next. They got some trolls going on down there. This is looking bad already. I should be taking these neutrals instead of trying to fight this guy. Whatever. This town's going down right now. Get fucked. We're gonna occupy this time. All right, two turn foot soldiers. Looks like it was already beat up by the last guys. Now, we're gonna take over this motherfucker too. Ha ha ha, yes. Make some harpies. Hmm, we will send you back there. You go. If I could just drive this guy out, I have a massive amount of land with no no contest. those four guys behind and we go up here and throw ourselves against the war bat maybe bring this guy too if we can You go over there. They're not trying to be sneaky or anything, are they? No. Okay, we need to vector over to here instead. You vector to here as well. I want you to not vector. You go here. And you vector over to here. Actually, no. 
And you, Vector, over here. I've got to take some of these neutrals. Should have done that before. Okay. Sorry. Drink water. A strategy game? Probably not. I don't know if I have anything to add to a strategy game. My freaking hero should be taking over these towns as he's walking past them. This guy should go help defend or something. Yeah, you attack with the hero over here. These guys ain't got much defense. They're spread out. I have 1200 gold, I have 200 gold income. Upkeep 69 gold. You go there. You go here. Attack. This guy doesn't have a turn left. You attack. There we go. Just waiting for my Nasiratu to die. Something stupid. Alright, you go over there. You're going here to defend. You're moving out. That's a bunch of dudes. I'm gonna send these three up here. And you can go. And you can go. Hold on a second. You guys still have moves. Can we take them? I don't think so. I think we gotta wait till the next turn. Make sure we have enough dudes. Partial win is not a win. Don't get in the boat. What the hell are you doing? You two come up here. The next game I'm making will be one that Sierra is designing. It's going to have It's going to have like some tactical strategy aspects, some management simulation aspects, and some dating sim aspects as well. Next turn. 
<sighs> yeah, Warlords is a uh, civilization without anything but the combat. Oh. My dudes. What about my dudes? Well, I left them sitting there right next to the fucking castle. But don't worry. We got back up. Four against two. Ooh, hi, D row. <clears throat> other than the lack of a better victory screen, every other aspect of Warlords 2 is worthy of respect and admiration. Praising the AI as one of the finest on the market. Wow. Yeah, I played it uh, when I was a kid. Send some more. You guys get out of the damn water. All right, instead of walking, you need to be vectoring. To there. Now what are you doing? Go. Kill. Go forth and murder. Pillage. We lost the pikemen, that's fine. We're gonna make defenders. And we're gonna go take over this bad boy. You go up there too. I want you two to go places. I want you to go over there. You go over there. Defend. Defend. Go. All right, you guys are going to stay. And you're going to go over here. Join up with these dudes. We got some harpies as well. Hmm, let's leave you two behind. We gotta get some business done here real soon. Real fucking soon. I don't know if this is gonna happen. We gotta wait till next turn. All right, troops made in here go to here. We got four dudes there. We got four dudes there. We need to make a pile right here. And crush this blue bastard, whatever his name is. Hello, El Creo. Thank you very much. How's it going? All right, don't kill me, bros. There are going to be some massive armies very soon. Warlord, thy progress is astounding. He said thy progress is astounding. All right, everybody. Don't fuck this up.
All I got is two dudes. Damn it, I can have more. Cross your fingers, hold your breath. Oh! Almost. Almost. Yes, this is DOS box. I just want you to be right there. It's fine. Continue the siege. Don't take too long. go I really want to go attack with like all these dudes soon I'm outside your walls. I'm coming for you. What's up, Luis? you for so long but I do not remember you like 2019 what was I doing in 2019 probably playing doom you probably followed me because I was playing doom that's where I got most of my followers from uh no <clears throat> Ah uh, yes, I was dying camel. In 2019. Oh, he coming. Oh lord, he coming. But he left his castle with nobody in it. Alright, he's got a harpy, a warbat, and a dude. I need some more dudes. I need more dudes. You're going up there. You're going right here. That douchebag is going to come attack my castle. I got four there. I need to take this war bat right here too. Maybe that'll, that'll probably be enough. With fortify bonus and everything. I don't want to trade with him. To leave those three. Four. Can I get to his castle? That would be amazing. Yes! Fuck your castle, bitch! <laughs> Thought he was gonna do something. Do, 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 do. 
You ain't doing nothing. Can I take this war one war bat with three dudes? Probably not. Maybe we'll get lucky. Do it. Oh yeah, we can check and see if we want to pillage it or not. We do. We do want to pillage. Ha ha ha, we got him! Woo! What's on the ground there? Don't know. Alright, you guys and also the hero. Take over this town. Hey, Driak, thank you. Dirty 30. Oh, I mean, Sierra. This is civilization with nothing but the combat. I have 1,800 gold. I want to build... I really want some trolls. I've got to get trolls right now. Do it. Don't look back. Build some trolls. And vector down here. Leave those two dudes behind. And go to that. Send you guys down there. Send you down here, cause we're gonna we gotta go down here and take this guy. I want this mountain pass right here really bad. He's got three harpies. You need to start vectoring over that direction. So you... Vector to there. You're vectoring up there. We are on a war with that guy up there. Everybody's vectoring up there, okay. What's this jackass doing over here? You better not be able to take this castle. I got four dudes fortified in there. Do, 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 do. He's not going to come through the forest, is he? He might come over this way. We better defend this one. When are you playing Choo Choo Charles? You know you're getting older when your family stops buying number of candles that match your age, right? I got me a birthday cake. It's a pecan. It's a little pecan pie, which is the best dessert. It's not pecan. It's not pecan. Did you say pecan? Pecan. Pecan. It's a pecan. Okay. Yeah, I got. A, I got a whole pecan pie. Look, it's a whole one. Pecan. Pecan. Saying pecan is like combining the worst ways of saying it. <laughs> you want trolls? Go on Twitter. Oh yeah. You know what happened today on my birthday? Uh, Andrew Tate got arrested for sex trafficking. <laughs> I'm a giant. And if y'all hadn't heard, here's the funniest part about that. 
What is this fucker doing? The funniest part is that it's because... He was talking shit to Greta Thunberg. And she humiliated him. And he made a... Uh, he made a reply video which showed what pizza he was eating which which then the Romanian Romanian authorities found him because in his reply video to Greta Thunberg they saw what pizza he had so you know the authority was to just contact the pizza place and like where'd you take that pizza Andrew Tate's house well there you go he was on the run from Romanian authorities and they got him Caught and caught rot. What? Greta got him, yeah. Moist Critical. I watch clips of his sometimes. Occasionally on YouTube, I watch some Asmund Gold or uh, Moist Penguin Z Zero or whatever clips. <clears throat> he was just talking about it. I mean, of course, that's the kind of thing he talks about, you know. But I, I saw, I saw Asmund Gold video I watched a few minutes of. It's like an hour and a half long. I ain't got time to watch that right now. It's my birthday. I gotta play Warlords and Warcraft. We're warring it up. Ooh, the troll wins. All right. What are we doing right now? Okay, we still got war bats going on. We're gonna vector you over to here instead. This place is not heavily defended. You go. I think you're gonna go over here or up here. Middle Castle doesn't really need defenders. Oh, you got a bunch of dudes over there. Never mind. You might be planning an attack on me. I got a lot of defenders too, though. Aha! We got to the... Can't do it, I'm out of turns right now, that's fine. We went to the temple. All right, you go up here to defend this. Are you vectoring? You need to vector up here. Where'd that, where does bats go? I think they went up here, no? Yeah, it's, they're coming down here. What the hell do you think you're doing? The funeral is about to begin. We need to attack him on the open road. Oh, thank you for 39 months, Moon. Hadrian, hey, yeah, that's here. All right. <clears throat> What up, Venture Bear? What's that a link for? Uh, the organization that went after him is called Greta in Romania? That's amazing. Two arms! Yeah. Well, thanks, man. I can't just let this guy walk over there. Fuck you. Oh, come on! I have lost! That's bad! Get over there in that castle, at least. I don't think that one dude can fucking do anything. It's one bat. I 
don't think he can do it. We send him out on off. I think I think he's been taken care of. A birthday song for you can talk no. from the left to the right and throw your teeth in the air clap to the skies and to the rat moon shuffle. Not the rat moon shuffle. Thanks for the hundred bits though. I just guess you're just gonna have to sub to me on on your boyfriend's account too. Alright, go for it. Oh, we did it! Oh, oh. That was scary. Foot soldiers take three because this town sucks. He's got, oh god, he's got knights just hanging out here. He's got a lot of horsemen, they can cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. I'm getting tired of this game though. It's too it takes too fucking long. <laughs> Top three games originally released on DOS. Oh man. Why don't I just show you? Hold on. Let's see if I can show you. One of my top three DOS games I don't actually own physically, but I do have Out of This World. This is definite masterpiece. Changed gaming, I think. You know, it had a lot of cinematic stuff. Also, I believe this is the first game I ever bought, like with my own money does have holes in it and it also has this beautiful copy protection wheel that you gotta line up remember when games had this sh shitty copy protection because this is harder to photocopy than a journal that has you know look up on page whatever All right, everybody, spin around 47 times and 47 dump your head in the toilet. Throw those teeth in the air and do the rat moon shuffle. Nobody listen. Thank you for 100 bits. Nobody, nobody do the rat moon shuffle. Another favorite game on DOS, Space Quest 3. This is the quest game I played the most of. You know, I didn't play it for like... 25 years and I still remembered literally every single thing in the entire game. I even did a all points playthrough on stream at one time where we literally did everything. I played it so much as a kid I remember everything. Same thing with Out of This World. I played that a million times. And I always say that Out of This World was my first speed run. I used to race it against a friend. Me and a friend both played the game so much. We would get on the we would call each other on the phone and start the game at the same time and who could finish see who could finish out of this world first. My third pick is Dune 2, a building of a dynasty, which uh It's like three hundred dollars. So I don't have it. But someday when I'm rich. I'll buy Dune 2 and also a copy of Loom, which is your free number four best DOS game. Whole chat doing the Rat Moon Shuffle. I'm glad I don't have the uh, the dancing ratty mode right now. You played Loom? Yeah, I got Sierra to play Loom. Loom is on Steam for $2, or you can buy it for like 400 in a box.
I currently own 10 big box games, four of which are uh, the first four gold box D&D games. Uh, but I only I only want like two more. I want Dune 2 and I want Loom. And if I had those two, I would have 12 and I'd, my life would be complete. Yes, Cosmic, thank you very much. It's my birthday. I'm getting tired of this game though. We're gonna... We're gonna play a different game. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Then we're gonna play another amazing DOS game. We're gonna play the best pinball game on DOS.